Hi, my name's Isaac. Welcome to Grace River Farms. Today I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough of the home-built corral system I've got over the years. It's nothing fancy, but it works. If you had wild cattle or something like that, it wouldn't work real well. But right now, I, the cattle I've got, they work really easy. I haven't had too much trouble. Over the years, we've had a few panels bent and stuff, but nothing major. I'll do a quick walk through real quick. What's done, Mama? They started pulling up the hay pretty good. Got to finish cleaning up the girls' swimming pool. Get it put up for the winter. I got it drained, but then we got a rain last night and it's wet again. I was trying to get it dried out where I could roll it up. You see, over the years, these old farm store panels—they don't last very good. These are the cheap, cheap panels. They've got better panels you can buy. Them. They're a lot higher, but. Over the years, I bought a few of these and kept adding to it and adding to it. They work for for me. I'd love to build a nice facility one of these days, but I don't have enough cattle to really justify that. I feed in here. I've got the opening here. I can feed in these bunks, and as they come in, get them all in here eating, I can close these two panels back behind them and I can come back and run them but the cattle always want to go back out the way they come I can run them back down this feed bump right around and with these gates shut I can turn them and run them down my alley I've got built I didn't get this cleaned out this year but that's where I fed when I was weaning my calves. Fed hay over in here. And I can run them down the alley. And I've got this gate here. I can, when it's undone, I have it undone when I'm running them. And as I run them in here, I can crowd them this way if I need to as a crowd gate. these two gates and see how they work but I've got these where I can fling them backwards as I run them down the alley here I can grab this gate and it closes back against this post and they work pretty good where I can just fling them back and then as I get them in there a little farther I can shut this one and then the gate in the barn there I can do the same way the gate here in the barn I fling back and go against this post but I can also, with these set up like this, I'm just shutting lights that gate. If I've got a cow in the barn that needs attention, and I've got to run her through the chute, and then I want to put her back in the barn, this gate behind me I can shut, run her through the chute here to the squeeze chute, and to open the side gate here and turn her back out in here and run her right straight back in the barn or if I've got some I can shut this gate 
and I've got a little catch pin too if I need to. And I use these to sort out if I wanna sort calves and cows and however I need to. It's not easy to do one, is it? I can come in the barn. I need to clean this out too. The donkeys like to poop right here, right now. Boy, so this gate here will shut back against there to close the alleyway off. I've got this gate I can use as a cut gate. And I can sort out side to side on the barn side to side through here which ones I want to keep and which one I want back out and I use this gate when I'm running them through the I can crowd them in here and use this as another sorting little pin And I've got my homemade alley. Like I said, I've had a few mishaps over the years. Had a few mishaps over the years and got some of them bent up. But it's worked. I'm going to run them through the alley there. I can jump out this walkthrough gate. come through my walk through gate out here and I can get to the squeeze chute and we'll have a video in a couple of weeks where we remove the fly tags and then use a pour on warmer run them through the donkeys followed me in the barn what you doing Chris? I get the ones I want to load in this side. Get the ones I want to load in this side. Shut and latch this center gate. And then undo my other cut gate here. It's basically just a cut gate. I can bring it back and open my gate here to go out to my loading chute but I can basically when they're in this pen I can run them around of course this bale wouldn't be here but that's why I bailed some square bales this year so I wouldn't have to put a round bale in here they waste more of it than they than good and I can run them down through here and I can even crowd them against here if I need to. Just like that. And I can run them through here. Run them through the alley to the trailer I back the trailer right up there and got that no back alley thing set up got another walk through gate right here where you can get in and out of here with the trailer backed up there 
<laughs> just like that. They're all watching and waiting to see what I'm going to do. And I guess that'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching Grace River Farms.